Today I'm going to go through how I learned this double arm elbow lever or two arm crook. This is one definitely I believe everyone can learn. Uh, obviously it'll take a little bit of time to get up on the bar or something like that at an elevated surface, but everyone can do the floor version. It's slightly easier if you elevate the hands. Just turn the hands out. So you notice there when I turn the hands out, my elbows are coming in towards the midline and I can get them in towards my hip. So on the elevated surface, it just creates a bit more space. So I'm just using this brick now or this little wall to show you that. So in that position and then I just bring the elbows into the hip and keep leaning the head forward to that seesaw position. So exactly the same as you do in the crow, we take the head and shoulders down and the hips up. I'm doing exactly the same here, just the elbows are in, so it's like a squished crow position there. As my shoulders come down and my head goes forwards, my hips come up, my feet come up. So once I'm in that position, all I'm gonna do is start to open the body out. So exactly the same movement, shoulders come forwards. Now as the shoulders come forwards, I can frog my feet out to the side and try and find that balance point again. So again, think of that seesaw position. So as the shoulders come down, the hips can come up and I can tip over that center point if I'm balanced. So shoulders come down, hips come up and vice versa. So I can control my balance with that tip in motion. Okay, now we have that basic understanding of the position, I'm just gonna start to open the body out. Now this time I'm gonna start in more of a push-up position. I'm gonna have my hands a little bit wider, still turned out to the side with the hands, but I'm gonna have the feet apart, so a little bit of a small straddle position. Slowly go forwards, elbows come all in towards the hip. Keep going forwards until my feet become light. And notice then I can do that seesaw. Now I'm purposely extending the body out, so opening like this instead of this. If I do this when I'm straight, I tend to collapse and my elbow sinks into my organs and we don't want that. So I wanna try and be in more of an extended position and lay down on top of the elbows and then lift the feet up, lift the shoulders up. If you don't have a brick wall, we'll use some yoga blocks or something like that. Then once we have that, we can start to play around with something that's more like a pipe or a bar, getting us ready to do it up on that higher bar position. Now this is gonna go more like the peacock position in yoga. So turn the hands all the way around so fingers are going back. You could practice that on the floor in that position, or if you feel ready, go onto a bar or something. So same thing. Now when back onto the bar, I'm bringing the hands closer together. Same thing as we just done on that wall, lift the feet up. Now it does get a little bit more awkward when I'm on a bar like this, so I can't get into the position to lay onto my elbow. So I'm gonna to have to go up to a support position first. And normally when I do a support position, I'm that way around with the hands. So now though, I want the hands back this way, so I'm gonna to have to turn the hands over. So I either jump up into my support position that way with the hands already facing that direction, but now they're too wide, or I could go this way and then try and mess around and turn them over, which is a bit messy. So the way I'd probably do it here is start with the hands this way around. Now try and shuffle the hands in closer together. Now I need to try and get some height. So if I don't get height, I'm not gonna have enough weight forwards in front of the bar to lift the feet up. So I do flex over a little bit now. Now I extend, open the shoulders, open the feet. Hard to talk with that one because I'm compressing everything. If I'm going to do it on a higher bar setup like this, I'm going to do like a pullover or a bar muscle up or something to get above the bar. Hat comes off. Then I'm going to turn the hands. So it's a bit messy. Ooh. Ooh. But same deal. When I'm there, open up. This one's a little bit easier in a way because it's a thinner bar. So I can grip hold of it. But a bit messy to get in and out. I need to work on that to make it cleaner. Now easier for most people would be to use a flatter surface. So something like this works well because it's a little bit in between. You have the height, you have the narrow surface, but it's not a bar. So same principle applies, just have a bigger surface area to lay onto. You can open up there. And that's definitely easier if you want to start to work towards the harder variation, which is the single arm lever. So hands that way around, elbow towards the midline. Obviously we want this on the floor before you do this. So same principles apply though. Whoop, find that sweet spot there. A good fun party trick. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys.